Want to integrate one of your other web apps into ConvertKit so that you can create a better experience for your subscribers? Well, in this three minute video, you're going to learn how to connect Zapier to ConvertKit. I'm Jason Resnick of NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co. And as an online business, you no doubt have a stack of web apps that you use on a daily basis. Uh, ConvertKit being one of them. And you want to pass and push information in and out of ConvertKit to make that experience better. And while ConvertKit does have a lot of native integrations that you can connect other apps to, no doubt you'll run into scenarios where you're going to need a tool like Zapier. Zapier moves information in and out of web apps so that you can actually do the more important work. The powerful thing about Zapier is that it actually allows you to have multi-step processes. So in the cases here that I have here is when a tag gets added into ConvertKit, it does a few things inside of Google Drive to create some documents. It creates a slideshow presentation and then takes some of that information from Google Drive and uh, then applies a tag and custom fields back into ConvertKit that then I can send off emails to. So you can think of it like, I'm cr in the case of this, I'm creating workbooks for clients so that they can fill in their own information, but it happens instantaneously on purchase. Another one is when a purchase does come in, I create a number of different things that happen. One is inviting into the community, which is a, a circle uh, community. Then I send a, a message into Slack. Then I add a tag in, back into ConvertKit or basically create that subscriber into ConvertKit if they're not already there or apply a tag and a custom field to it and then create a row in Google Sheets. So the thing that we have to do first is actually connect ConvertKit to Zapier. So you would log in and I have a free plan. This is just a trial free plan. I would add a connection simply by typing in ConvertKit. We can see this come up and it's actually gonna bring up a pop-up window looking for the API secret on the account page. So let's go back into ConvertKit. We're gonna go under advanced and then you'll see API secret right here. We're gonna to have to click on show and take what appears and then come back into Zapier and place that in there. We click on yes. Now we can go ahead and create a Zap for ConvertKit that allows us to do a lot of different things. So I'm just going to show you at least what the triggers are so that you could kind of get a sense of some inspiration to see what you can do. So we could do new subscribers, right? So if you want a new subscriber notification, you unsubscribe, form subscribers, new tag subscribers, sequence, new purchase. So you can see there's a number of triggers that can happen. If you wanted to do something else and have ConvertKit as a action off of a trigger, you could see some of the th things that you can do. You can add a subscriber to a form. You can add a tag to a subscriber, add it to a sequence, create a purchase, remove a tag. You can even find a subscriber. So what I find most common is that we're going to add a tag to a subscriber, but by doing that, we can actually select uh, a subscriber and import more information into the variables, the custom fields, and it makes it, the experience is better. Personalization is better. Segmentation is better. So simply by connecting Zapier to ConvertKit, it, it amplifies and raises the bar for your email marketing and automation strategies. If this was helpful, smash that like button and click that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified the next time a video drops. And when you treat your email lists like humans, amazing transformations happen.